Hello everybody, it's Gary Stuckey with Real Music. There's an article in Forbes magazine about the band Bon Jovi and their new album, Forever. And they're talking about how it just dropped off of the charts after one week and that hasn't been done before for Bon Jovi. Uh, it reached number five on the Billboard 200 and uh, it became the band's 14th uh, album to do so. And then by the next week, it's out of there. You know, their last album was on there for a couple of weeks. It didn't debut as high. But, you know, and people like Eddie Trunk are talking about the reasons why. Yeah, Eddie posted over on Facebook. He says, been talking about this on my show for years. Every act does a ton of pre-promotion and releases up to four to six songs and videos before an album is even out these days, which is why first week chart number is great. All hardcores buy it. All pre-orders and first week sales. And then most albums literally gone by week two. Zero sustained support. I miss the days when a new album had a lifespan and went up and down the charts as singles came out. Yeah, one good example of that is Def Leppard with Hysteria. I remember that album came out, was on the charts for like two or three years, you know, and the singles, there were like five singles, and they came out a few months apart. I think the last single came out a couple years later. You know, and he's got a good point, and that's true. And here's another fact. The radio, they don't play songs by artists like that on the radio anymore they play all the old hits and so the fans that are kind of casual fans maybe they don't know that Bon Jovi's got a brand new album they don't hear it on the radio nothing you know hits their ears and they go ah Bon Jovi I gotta get that album there's not record stores like there used to be and posters and pictures and advertising like it used to be all over the place you know, it just, it's not what it used to be. But those radio stations really uh, supported bands like that. And you could turn on the radio, here's the new one from Bon Jovi. And they would play it and you'd be like, oh, I got to get that album. You know, and like he said, you release a single and it lives and thrives off of that single for a few months. And then you release another one. They don't do that anymore. A lot of times they'll release one and then drop another one and release five or six singles before the album comes out. And it's like, you know, it's gone. All the uh, excitement's gone. All the fans, you know, flock to the album and buy it. But all the casual listeners or, or people that are interested in that kind of music are kind of, you know, they're non-existent uh, because there's no promotion like it used to be. And I totally understand that. It's just sad. I wish it could go back to the old days. I don't know how. Maybe there's some way we can rework the system and get people more involved in music and the bring back the excitement of getting that album. And, you know, they, they put it on, the, uh, on YouTube. I mean, you don't even have to buy an album anymore. Most times they put it on uh, YouTube and you can just listen to it for free or you stream it. Or, you know, it's just the excitement is not there like it used to be. And that's the reason why uh, this album just totally went off the charts. And maybe Bon Jovi and John Bon Jovi here is, is okay with that. You know, it makes it in the top ten. It doesn't stay on the charts. Now, I think the greatest hits by Bon Jovi is still on the charts after, you know, many years, like 150-something maybe, you know, and that's because, you know, fans love the hits. They love the old music from these bands. They're just, I hate to say it, most most listeners aren't uh, really into the new music by the old bands, the classic rock bands. And, you know, it's really a shame because Forever is a really good album. And it deserves to be heard. It deserves to have new fans of Bon Jovi for not just the old songs, but this new Forever album. It, it's worthy. It's good. But sadly, that's not how it is. Most people like the old stuff. They won't give 
the new stuff a chance. But as I said, maybe it needs to be reworked. Radio stations need to make a comeback. Things need to be done. What do you think? Let me know. Hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And always remember to keep the music real.